Hey guys, welcome back to channel. Welcome back to Alpine JS tutorials. And today we're gonna to be continuing from where we left off in the first episode, the introductory episode. If you missed that, please be sure to check it out so you can follow up and um, catch up on what we are doing. Okay. Now, just a bit of a reminder. The last episode we talked about um, hiding. A block of HTML code and um, the count feature which we did if you missed that please be sure to check that out so for this episode we're gonna be looking at drop downs nav drop downs okay all right so I already have a new um, file here called drop down .html. we are going to be implementing the drop down feature all right, so before we begin, remember I said we're going to be using um, Tailwind CSS and um, AlpineJS. So I just need to put the link for, this is the link for the AlpineJS. So I just need to include the link for the AlpineJS right here, just under the title tag. And now we need the link for the CSS. Okay, so let's go get the link for the CSS. Um, as we're going, how are you? How's your day? How are you doing? Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're loving uh, Alpine JS. All right, so we are at the official Tailwind CSS website. So we want to get the link for the website. We want to be able to link the Tailwind CSS to our project. So how do we get that now? So I go to get started and now you can see installation is here, right? So I go to play CDN because we always like to use our CDN because it's very easy for us to use. Okay, so I always go to CDN. You can play around with whatever you like, but I'll just always recommend you use the CDN, right? So this is it right here. This is the script that we want. This is for version 3, actually, I think. So this is the script that we want right here. So I copy that and I go back to my code, right? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So I go back to my code. And then I paste it right here. Okay. You know what? I think I should paste it at the top. Uh, I think the reason why I'm pasting it at the top is that I want, once this uh, file is being read, it should implement the Tailwind CSS styles before it starts um, initializing Alpine. So that's why I put it. But first, let's look at our, our HTML on the screen on our browser. Let's see how it looks like. Okay. All right. So this is how it looks like currently. We don't have anything there, right? So we need a nav bar. So we go to Tailwind because I said we're using Tailwind. Now let me show you where I'm gonna get my nav bar from. Okay. I'm gonna show you where to get my nav bar from. So I went to tailwindui.com over here. So that's where I'm gonna be getting my. So already these are a bunch of um, templates that you can use. You know these are some of them are locked. You can use them. The reason why is that you need to you need to buy them. See so their pricing and FAQ. You need to buy them. You need to pay for it. If you just somehow get the codes, it still won't work for you. Okay. So now we need a nav bar. So we're scrolling. We're looking for a nav bar. Okay, I'm in navigation. Okay, let's just see this one. Uh, okay, this is a nav bar. You see, this works. This is what we want to do, the implementation of this drop down here, right? And you see here now, it says requires JavaScript, requires JS, so requires JavaScript. But we do not have any JavaScript on our code. Or on our project right now so if we copy this it won't work so what I want to show you now is how to make it this work with Alpine.js all right so let's do that 
okay before we go there you notice here now you can use react or you can use view that if you have that already installed on your system you can use view and react and then it would work all right out of the box just the way i told you i use them um, i use laravel and um livewire and alpine JS. okay all right so we copy this code and we're gonna paste it we're gonna paste it right here okay so don't worry, don't be afraid of the HTML. You understand? Or this bunch of code that is so many and everything. And then you're wondering, oh my god, what is what? This is so much. So don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through it, especially when we start our HTML class. I'm going to walk you all through that. That if you do not know it, okay? Alright, so now we want to look for, let's see how it looks like now. So this is it on our project now you see now by default now it's already showing out it's showing that's because there is no javascript handling this right now so if i click here you can't hear me let me use my <laughs> external mouse it's a bit loud i think you'll be able to hear me so you can see i'm clicking here now but it's not working i'm clicking away nothing is happening right that's because there's no javascript handling it we don't have any JavaScript on our on our project. So what we want to do is we want to implement this drop down feature with Alpine.js. Okay. Alright. So ideally, if you were building this from scratch, when you get to this point and you're thinking about creating this, all you have to do is um, create a div and then maybe give it a little border shadow and then have a list on it and then set the position to relative to this picture right here and then you can adjust it and then you give it a z index as well all right so that's how you probably do that okay so going to our code now we want to look for this first of all because this is where we want to implement our we want to implement our alpine we want to set our state in this and this right so we don't need all this for the alpine this is what we're looking for but it's a lot of code as you saw it's a lot of code so what, how do we look for what we need well one way of doing that is you can come here and inspect you can come here and inspect um the elements so you just right click and click on inspect and then you click on this icon here and then we take the mouse and hover over here right when i click on this it takes me to where this is so i know this is what i'm looking for because right above it we have open user menu right now the reason why we're looking for this is because we want to click this picture and show this box right here so in other words we're looking for where to implement our click event okay i hope you get that all right, so let's go there and get that. All right, so now it's a lot. Where do I start searching for? This is it right here anyways. But let's assume that you haven't found it. You haven't seen it yet, right? So where do you start searching for, for it? All you have to do is um, press Ctrl F or look for the how you search on your text editor, or your code editor. And then you just search the name open user and then you see it finds it for me see it right here it found it found it so that's how you do that so i know now this is the div that houses it right this is this, this is the picture that we're looking for but now i'm looking for the div what div houses it this is the div that houses it but now does it also house the does it also house this this right here does it also house it this box here so i'm going to search for it and i'm going to make sure that wherever i'm going to declare my state my alpine state is housing both um the button the image and the box below right so now i can already see this is what houses this right here you can see your profile sign out just the way it is here okay so i want to look for 
the div that houses both of them. This div does it house both of them? Yes, it does. You can see it. It does house both of them. So I can certainly use this div, right? So firstly, what I need to do now is declare my state. And how do we do that? From our introductory class, we say x data, and then we use our syntax, and then we're gonna say, what do we wanna say? Hmm. What do we call it? What do we call it? What do we call it? I wanna give it a name so you know that um, you don't always have to use open or something. Okay? So let's give it a long name. Let's let's actually say drop down. Let's actually say drop down, and um, we we'll set drop down to false initially, right? And then in our button, we're gonna say we're gonna say add click. Remember, I told you the shorthand. So we're gonna say add click for our button now. Do we say there? Do we put it there? Uh, hold on. For button, we're gonna say add click, but I'm wondering if we should put it there because I'm clicking on the picture, right? So do I put it there? Do I put it there? So one way to know now is the button does it cover everything so you see the button covers everything so it makes sense to put the button there right so i'm going to say add click add click set drop down equal to not drop down so what i'm implementing now is a toggle feature right that I, I showed you earlier on so i said drop down to not drop down okay makes sense yeah i think it does all right so now i'm going to go to the div that houses the box and i'm going to set an x show uh, attributes then i'm going to say x show and then i'm going to say um give it the component which is drop down right so this this div now now becomes drop down while this click when you click on it it sets this drop down below to true or false that is open or close but but at the top here i already declared it as false so in other words when i refresh the page the first time it's supposed to be false so it's supposed to be hidden okay so let's check it out so i'm going to refresh the page you see already it's gone let me close this up you see already that it's gone it's no longer there because alpine has set it to false alpine has set it to hidden right now so if i click on it it shows up you see that that's really nice it shows up but now there's something else it's not going away unless i click on its picture again remember we made it a toggle so if i click on the picture again it goes off if i click on it, it comes on click on it it goes off right now what if i click on it and i wanted to do something here but then I said, okay, no, let me do something here. Let's assume there was something here, right? I want to do something here. And then as I was doing something here or typing on a form here, I remember I realized that there's something underneath this place, this place that I need, maybe some kind of code or a number or something that I need, right? But this thing is covering it, so I can't see it. So that means I have to go back there and click it again for it to go away now that is not very nice when you're trying to um, optimize for uh, user um, user interactions okay for UI it's not very nice so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a feature or an additional event or additional click event that anytime I click away from this place from this um, this box right I want you to hide the box so that's what we're gonna do now so that means I'm going to my X show where's X show that I did um, where's that? Where's that? okay so I'm going to X show now and I'm going to add an additional event to it so I'm gonna say I want to add a click event so I'm gonna say at click dot away remember in the introduction i think we use dot outside you can also use dot away okay 
so I click dot away I need it to set drop down I need to set drop down equals false so when drop down is false it automatically hide it right okay so let's look at that so I need to refresh let me just refresh okay so I click on it it shows but if I come here now and I'm doing my work and I click on something here you see it's hidden now right so that's really cool and all we did was about it was just to write a very few lines of code and we are good right so that's the power and that is the magic of Alpine very minimal very lightweight so please practice please try it out I uh, can't wait to see you on our next episode we'll be talking on we'll be looking at how to implement the sidebar feature that will be really nice but oh before then before we, before I go let me just show you something cool okay so now let's say it comes out it comes it comes it comes um you click on it and it shows like this right and then you click on it and it goes back but you might say ah it's too fast it doesn't have any flare to it right so let's do that let's do a flare now how do we how do we do that we want to make it that it takes its time when it comes in and then it just transitions out right so what we want to do we want to add a transition to it now if you come to alpine alpine js has transitions so we want to transition now how do we do that now this is a default transition that you can use to do this so we're going to copy it and then the place where you want the block of code where you want um you want to hide or show that's where you implement the transition you can implement the transition in the button neither can you put it in the block of code here so it's where you want to hide or show just like the example now you see how it takes its time to come right that's what we want to do so let's go to our code and then the block of code which is this now this is what we want to hide and show so i'm going to come here and all i have to do is just put x transition and that's it that's just it it's so easy it's so powerful and then i refresh the page you notice now it takes its time to come or to show rather but i want to make it even more obvious I want to make it even more obvious so we're going to look for another transition see this one now this is 500 milliseconds i'm going to show you how to use transitions don't worry so this is the basic transition that we used and then here now they are including duration and then they are including the duration time it's just like when we did um um, um at click and they will now included dot away so this is the way you you add a feature to it all right let you say add the feature okay so we come here now and then we're gonna add we're gonna add this so it will take its time to come to show sorry <laughs> all right so okay so I click on it you see how it takes its time right I click on it again it goes off I click on it it comes now let's see let's let's just increase it a bit for some whatever reason let's just make it um 900 uh 900 milliseconds okay so let's see let's see now you see we'll see the difference now so now it's more obvious the way it transitions in you see it and transitions out transitions in transitions out okay all right so so that will be it for today's episode. I hope you've learned something. I hope you're excited about Alpine as I am teaching you. Uh, I do recommend that you try out what you learn. If you have any, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll be very happy to um, get back to you. And I'm also going to put my this um, this tutorial is going to be on my GitHub going to be on my github page so you can at any time you can check it look at um, what i've done and then maybe even download the repos repository and um, use it for something awesome okay all right thank you very much if you like the video please like subscribe i've been ola follower and i'll see you next time